How closely do you watch the meter when you fill up your car? For one couple, a pump kept rolling even after they were done filling up their brand new truck. I'm Natish Bissono in Brampton. It's at this Petro Canada where a faulty pump was flagged to us by a viewer. That prompted us to go back and resurface a City News exclusive where we learned just a few months ago that there were about 285 faulty pumps and it looks like this is still an ongoing issue. What I'm pumping, not more. This is not acceptable to me. It's a trip to the gas station Nellie Matthews and her husband won't soon forget. They had just purchased a brand new pickup truck and were filling it up at the Petro Canada on Beauvert and Chincuzi when this happened. Gas is going up and nobody's touching the pump. The meter still charging long after they had finished gassing up. They complained to the attendant, who then put them in touch with the manager. An apology was given, but they still had to pay. We paid $100, though, and not as much as what the pump said, but I guess... How much did the pump charge you? It was $147. Uh, we don't know how much really we put in because it kept going and going and going. Only until we put the nozzle back into the machine, it stopped. We were told by staff that they don't have any authorization to speak with us. We were then asked to call Suncor, who owns Petro Canada. This was the message we got. Thank you for calling Suncor's media relations team. Our office hours are Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. And we operate in the mountain time zone. If this is a media request, please also send us an email. It's important people, I think, understand that these are mechanical devices and they can and do break down wear and tear is one example or a simple mechanical failure. Just a few months ago, City News revealed that there were more than 280 faulty pumps in the GTA. McTagg wants to see the government mandate that pumps are tested more frequently than the current mandate of every second year. He's also warning drivers to keep their eyes open the next time they gas up. The first thing you should be observing is making sure that all... Uh, indications all uh, are, are are really analog or digital are all at uh, zero so we don't have uh, you know a situation where you start off and suddenly it, it goes up to 20 cents or 30 cents uh. now McTay says it's important to be vigilant check the meter and of course check your receipts now the gas pump in question at this location is now temporarily out of service it's still not clear how many people use the pump before Nelly Matthews flagged this problem to us now this story was brought to us by a viewer if you have a story or news in the making here are just some of the ways you can contact us in Brampton, I'm Natish Pisono, City News.